Greetings my fellow Fright Fiends, it's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for a new episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone and today's video is another segment in my Shudderific series. This deals with uh, horror movies that I've watched on the Shudder app. Uh, it's a fantastic app and uh, I will put a link down below to it or other people can check it out if you have not already subscribed to it. Um, the movie I want to talk about today was released in 2013 and it deals with a concert pianist who is under the watchful eye of a sniper who threatens to kill him if he plays one wrong note during his concert. Um, and the movie stars uh, Elijah Wood, uh, John Cusack, and even features an appearance by Mr. Alex Winter. So it was pretty cool to see him in a movie. The movie was written by Damien Cazell, um, and the director is Eugenio Mira. What I liked about the film, uh, number one, I love Elijah Wood. I, I am a big fan of his. I always have been, even back when he was a, a little kid doing movies like Forever Young and The Good Son. He's just a fantastic actor, and I thought he did a great job in this, playing a sort of a public figure who had uh, kind of a breakdown in his career, trying to do this uh, this uh, this uh, concert, sort of you know rebound his his uh, failing career, and to be wrapped up in this whole thing that's going on where this man is trying to kill him. Uh, it was really interesting to see, and I thought he really did a great job. Um, also, like I said, Alex Winter, it was great to see him, and I thought he did a great job as well. I haven't seen him in a lot of movies in, in, in years, so it's like, and he looks almost exactly the same, so it was great to see him as well. Um, I also really liked uh, the pacing of the film. It really reminded me of something that Alfred Hitchcock would have done back in the day. Um, there was some really good tension moments. I really loved the execution of it. I thought the direction was fantastic, and uh, I was, there wasn't a boring moment in the 90-minute runtime. Any cons that I would have, uh, John Cusack is, I don't know what it is lately about uh, performance that he gives. Now he's not really on screen that much because most of it is, is just his voice. You know, he's talking to Elijah Wood and you know, making the threats against him and everything because he is the one that is the sniper. Um, and you really don't see him very much in the film, but I don't know what it is about his acting um, in the last few years, but it just, it just doesn't seem natural. And uh, I wasn't really, crazy about uh even though it was mostly dialogue i just wasn't really crazy about his performance again it's just his delivery i just really am, i'm just not as as crazy about his acting style um as he's gotten into his older years um because i thought that he was more natural back when he was doing films uh back in the um late 80s and early 90s um but those are like small nitpicks and again nothing against john cusack i've always still been a fan of him but i just i, I really just i'm not crazy about the uh, some of his performances as of late. But other than that, I really thought this film was good. Like I said, it really pays a tremendous um, nod to Hitchcock. I thought it was really well done. And again, you know, the tension was great. Elijah Wood was great. So on my rating system, I would give the film Grand Piano uh, Three Skulls. I would definitely give this a recommend, uh, checking it out on the Shutter app. I think it's got a really fast-paced runtime. It doesn't drag in any spots. And uh, like I said, you know, give it a shot. I, th I think it was really well done. I think it was a great story, uh, great direction, and a great performance by Elijah Wood. So that is going to be my review of Grand Piano. Um, again, it is on the Shutter app. I will put a link down below where people can check that out. Let me know what you think. If you've seen uh, Grand Piano, let me know what you think about that. And as always, thanks so much for watching Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.